Greetings, I'm Malcolm Brown, Director of the EDUCAUSE Learning Initiative, or ELI. And I'm Veronica Diaz, Associate Director for the ELI. ELI is a community of professionals dedicated to the innovative use of technology for serving teaching and learning. And we feel that teaching and learning is most effective when it combines an emphasis on learners and learning principles for the purpose of enhancing the teaching and learning with technology. So in today's update, we're going to be telling you a little bit about what the community has been involved in and how you can get started and join in the, that work. Last year, the ELI launched this program called Seeking Evidence of Impact, which is a collective exploration of how we can better assess our innovations in teaching and learning. This year, we are pleased to be able to announce that we launched our case study series. This is a series of in-depth studies of programs and studies conducted by campuses like yours, in which the researchers tell us what they did, why they did it, and how they conducted their assessment, and also summar summarize their research findings. Perhaps most importantly, the authors also reflect on their methodologies. Were they effective? What would they do differently if they could do it over again? We invite you to visit our website and collect all six of the published studies so far. More to come in 2013. We've been looking for ways to provide more in-depth teaching and learning opportunities for the ELI community, and we thought that the ELI annual meeting was the best place to do that. And last year, we created the Leadership Seminar um, to take place at the ELI Annual Meeting, and it was about five contact hours over three days. The topic for last year was Learning Analytics, and this year it's going to be eTexts. And we think that the seminar will really give participants a chance to engage with the content, with leaders in the area, and also to create a network of peers to which they can turn to once they begin work in the, the seminar's topic area. Now this year in the spring, the ELI continued its tradition of identifying the key opportunities and challenges that are facing us as a community. We call these our content anchors, and we're pleased to be able to report that the voting for the content anchors this year was double from what it was last year. And as you can see on this slide, we identified six key such areas. At the top of the list is academic transformation and working with pilots, emerging technologies, and other forms of innovation. Also on the list you will see is online and blended learning, mobile learning, and other key areas and topics. We plan to continue this tradition in 2013. Please look for our ballot again in early spring of 2013. ELI's online program has grown significantly in the last three years, and we think that's important to keep the teaching and learning community engaged and developing, especially in a time of pretty tight budgets. So we have the ELI webinar, which is a one-hour short engagement opportunity on any kind of teaching and learning topic. Next, we have the ELI seminar, which is a little bit longer. It's three hours, and it gives people a chance to engage with speakers and with peers, and also to do a little bit of activity around the topic area. Finally, we have the ELI short course, which is just that, a distributed short course, usually around three to four segments long of about an hour and a half each. And the short course is project-based, so participants attend with a project from their institution in mind, and they receive feedback from peers and also from the experts that help facilitate the course. And finally, we have the ELI online annual meeting, which has all of our big name speakers, pre-conference workshops, and also uh, various online-only sessions. So check out the ELI online 2013 event calendar for topics and dates, and we hope to see you at an event soon. As you know, the ELI has continued to produce its series, The Seven Things You Should Know About. Over the past 12 months, we have covered topics such as first-generation learning analytics, badges, service design, and classroom projection with mobile devices. If you have a suggestion for something we should cover in the series, please don't hesitate. Send us an email with your suggestion. And if you have content expertise in that topic, we would ask you to become the content editor for that particular issue. Perhaps the most important thing we'd like to convey is that we'd like for you to get involved with ELI. And you can do that in any number of ways, from authoring a brief, to writing a case study, to serving on a program committee for any of our events, or of course, presenting on a session. And you can do that online or face-to-face. -face. Also, we'd like to encourage you to join the ELI Forum, which is a listserv of our teaching and learning community, um, where you can talk about issues, challenges, solutions, anything you'd like to that is relevant to your work. And then as an ELI member, you'll receive the ELI News, which is a bi-monthly publication that will let you know what kinds of things the teaching and learning community and ELI are involved in. 
And so we hope that will give you some ideas for how to jump in and get started with us. And the best way to get started with us is to join ELI and you can become a member um, just by going to our website where there's more information and application online. We very much want to hear from you. It is our goal for the ELI program to serve you, to make you more successful, and to collectively discover new opportunities and best practices in the use of technology in teaching and learning. So whether it be at an online event, as an author of a case study, or on a program committee or advisory group, we hope to connect with each of you this coming year.